2024 is upon us and there's a boatload of movies to look forward to. We're going to talk about some of the ones that we're personally excited about. Then we're settling a case over the matter of a body pillow left out in a college dorm. We've all been there before. What's our verdict going to be? Stay tuned. What you are listening to is real. The parties involved are not cool. They are actual geeks with a case pending in the court of public opinion. The party's case has been dismissed, and the dispute will be settled here on our podcast. There will be no lawyers. There will be no witness testimony. The judge's decisions are final. Hello, I'm Judge Ivan. I'm Judge Jonathan, and this is Geeks on Trial. Today's case, Body Pillow Talk. Welcome to Geeks on Trial. This is the podcast where we settle petty disputes between actual geeks over movies, video games, board games, and more. If you'd like to submit your own geeky case for a future episode, you can email us at geeksontrial at gmail.com. You can also support the show over at our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash geeksontrial. For just five bucks a month, you'll gain early access to both our audio and video episodes before they're released to the general public public and access to our geeks on trial sidebar a bi-monthly show exclusive to patreon it's a great show that you can get over at the patreon and patreon only so you should go do that for five dollars a month my fist is barely able to contain my gavel this week it's shaking with rage and excitement over our great patreon content there's no fist action over on Patreon. Uh, not on our Patreon. There's, I'm sure other Patreons have fist action going on there. Did you catch those Golden Globes? No. Did you? Me either. No, I don't watch that. Who who watches that? Who cares I, about that? I like some award shows, but they just like, you know, it's getting a little crazy. Oh, my God. It's IMO. crazy. How many awards do you really need to give out? At least honestly. Two. Only, I well, can see only for the people that I like. Sure, the people that you like award mm-hmm. is one, right. and actually, that I think that's, that's what it. else. That's it. One person gets an award. We can all go home early. I think for me, the exciting part about any of the award shows is people, like I said, people who I like, and I don't need to watch the full award show. I just have Instagram and Twitter, so I can just see. Oh, Weird Al won a uh, an award. That's cool. I don't need to see anything else. <laughs> done and done. It's over now. That's it. It's over. Well. Come on. The Oscars are coming up. We'll talk about those, of course, in great depth when when, when that happens. I love the Oscars. I love the Oscars. But what I'm excited about is not looking back at at, and awarding things that already happened. That's old shit. I'm excited about the new hotness. The new shit. (laughs) Yeah, the new garbage. The new trash. That I can consume and then dispose of in my Mm -hmm. mind. And then forget what you watched. And yeah, we're talking about the movies that are coming up in 2024 there's, you know, surprisingly because we did have a period of writer and actor strikes when a lot of uh, productions were shut down. Right. It does seem like there's still a lot of pretty big movies, some big sequels, big franchise movies coming out. this year. Yeah. I was actually looking through this list that we have. I was very surprised at the amount of movies that are slated to come out. Um, there's a lot of them that are like, you know, to be determined on the actual dates, but there's a lot of movies that are like, I expected this to be a dry year for movies. I'm sure we're not going to get. It's wet. This the, year is soaking wet. Like sopping wet. You can just hear it. This year is dripping. Just dripping. You this need a, a bucket of a year. And a mop. Okay, we both <laughs> went to the same place. That's great. No, but I seriously thought like, I was looking even at the movies that are coming out in like the summer months. And it's sure, it's not as big as years in the past. But like, there's not no movies. Now that's a quote you there's can quote me no on. There's not no movies. <laughs> <laughs> There's not no movies. There's not no movies. So let's uh, not not waste anyone's time any more than we already are. Am I bad that I was excited for there not to be movies just to kind of screw it to the film industry? We might still get a little bit of that. We'll okay. see. This might be uh, not be as jam packed as it seems to be. But what are some of the movies? I don't know if you just want to rattle them off that the ones that you are most excited about that we know about coming out this year. Oh, and I'm, hmm. we should stay to be clear. I, I, I feel like I, I want to say that. There's always movies that you don't know about that will come out that are going to be your favorite movies of the year. Right. Usually the ones that we know about are the big like comic book and sequel blockbuster movies. Blockbuster films. The blockbuster usually. Yeah. And so that's usually, kind of what I think what we're talking about. Usually I get excited about the films that they're still selling at Blockbuster. 
The yeah. Indies. Do you, do the you weird, go to the, the one I, in Alaska? Yeah. <laughs> or do they close that? That's not Alaska. They have it's in um oh it's it's in the continental United States. There was one in Alaska. There was one in Alaska. It's I don't know where the other one is, but the last blockbuster somewhere in like we can drive to it. Can you drive to oh, it? I guess right. you can drive to Alaska. Legally, my license has been revoked, but oh. I could drive to it. So I'm excited for a few films and some films I'm excited to see like because they could be bad. I like watching a bad movie every now and then, and it's it's exciting. Maybe not in the theaters, but you know when it comes out on the streaming. My first one that's been advertised a lot, and especially the theaters that I've been going to recently, Argyle. That movie, <laughs> it just seems fun. Like I, I don't expect a lot from it. It just seems like a fun movie that would be enjoyable to just go see on a Tuesday night, and and you know not really have a lot of brain power going into it not expecting a lot but it just it seems like a really exciting film have you heard of the argyle movie yeah this is a kind of an action spy meta movie from matthew vaughn who did the kingsman uh, movies i do like the uh at least the first couple i think i like the second one okay um and matt he did i think he did kick ass too the first i believe so how many kingsmen were there more than two there's three, but nobody saw the third one. Okay, because <laughs> when I was I when Kingsman One came out, I think I was working at the movie theaters, so I got to see it for free. But you know, it, they were good movies. I like those, and that's why I'm like, oh, yeah, they're fun. Kingsman adjacent. So like, I like, and plus just, I like I like cats. I've that trailer is one that I have. They have played so many damn times, but like everywhere for the past too. like two months. I'm just so tired of. I just see it and I'm like, all right, Ar- Argyle. I'm not. I'm out. And some <laughs> of these, like, like I get advertisements in weird places. Now, like, I pick up and check my voicemail, and it's a voicemail from movies telling you what to go see. It's weird. That is really mm-hmm. weird. I might right, be hacked. My second one. Moving. I I don't know anything about it, but how can you go wrong? Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Sure. That's well, that's, a- one, that's one of my biggest one. I don't. It's one that I am uh, maybe a little worried about. So I don't know that I can say I'm right. like excited about it because I love the Planet of the Apes movies. And this is a different director from the previous new trilogy. I'm always and- a little scared about the Planet of the Apes movies because it's like they are either great or it's like, mm, because I'm like, I have a higher standard for some of these movies because I, I love the original. Unlike Argyle, where you're like, this could be shit. Right. Well, well, but don't you have those kind of movies, too, where it's like you're going to go in to see like a movie like Argyle or, uh, you know, something else. And it's like, OK, this I'm, sure. this isn't like one of my franchises. We're sure. like Planet of the Apes. Is, it's like a, it's a higher standard. It's like an Indiana Jones film. Well, I'm more worried about it. It's, I, I wouldn't say it's that my standards are higher. It's that I will be I more disappointed Mm. If it's bad because right. it's something I want to be good. Whereas like if Argyle's right. not that good, I, that doesn't affect my life. <laughs> well, right. Exactly. That's Yeah. If Planet of the Apes is bad, I'll probably kill myself. Now, um, do you want me to keep going or do we want to back and forth this? Uh, I want you to keep going. I just wanted to say that mm. um, it is the same writing team on the new on the new Apes movie. So I'm hopeful that they keep that quality going. Now, in a whole how many like how many Planet of the Apes movies? There's been a lot. Since there's the five originals, one. then right. there's the Tim Burton one, and then there was three in the new trilogy. So this will technically be the tenth Planet of the Apes movie. That's insane to me. Amazing, <laughs> but insane to me. Uh, my third one is Twisters. I I like yeah. <laughs> because I really enjoy, and I don't know if it's because of school and stuff. I really enjoyed the original Twister movie. Now, yeah, they sh- th- because in, in, they always show that to us in like science class in like middle school and high school. Cause I was like, oh, this is, this is a new movie for you kids who enjoy it. It's kind of educational. I'm like, sure, whatever. But you know, that's like, that's one of those, I, I don't know if it's a good movie, but I like it. I think it's good. I think it's good. We need to be clear. Like people, it sounds like we're joking. This is a sequel to the movie Twister. From 1996? With, something like that. Is something, it Helen Hunt? I believe so. And I, Bill I don't. Bill Paxton? Bill Paxton and a bunch of other either up and coming stars or like, you know, just random people. Oh, yes. Yeah. Philip Seymour Hoffman in that movie for five minutes. Maybe the crazy thing it's about this, this this sequel is that it's directed by uh, Lee Isaac Chung, who directed the movie Minari. I, I don't know if you ever saw that, it was a, but it's a Korean oh. drama that's like the oh. opposite of Twister. It's well, like also a Twister quiet. is like a weird movie because like it's a serious film, but it's also like kind of not campy, but it is campy. But I don't know if that's just over it's time. A, it's like bad production quality or it's like it just came up with like i don't know 
Yeah, it's it's a little it's silly. The concept is inherently a bit silly to take but like, so seriously. But, but I kind of hope they do that again with this one. But it sounds like it's like a, a different group of people. It will be very interesting to see. This is not some. If you ever asked me, boy, what movie needs a sequel? It's not <laughs> this never, one. No, never would have said or that. also a sequel in theaters. Because I'm assuming the list we got is all in theater movies. Yeah. Uh, most of it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, my, the, there's a few that I'm actually like really excited about. This one has been yeah. talked about Don't for years back. on and off. And then the writer's strike kind of canceled it for like a little bit. Beetlejuice two. I am be interesting. a huge fan of the original Beetlejuice movie. Love the movie. Love the actors, but now love the, the guy, the Beetlejuice. <laughs> um, I've never seen the play. The musical, the Broadway the, show, the musical, yeah. But I it's, do like. Yeah. I, I I think this movie could either be an amazing nostalgia grab or a piece of shit. Like <laughs> I think, like like truthfully, from like stuff that I've seen, it's like, oh, certain actors probably can't come back, or it's like, how are they going to do this? Because like, the big thing for me is ghosts don't age. But Gina Davis <laughs> and uh, um, Alec Baldwin, Baldwin, or is it Alec? Baldwin? Alec sorry, Baldwin, sorry. <laughs> sure have aged. So you know. Well, yeah. I mean, that's a thing. Whatever you can get around right. that. Who cares? But, but like you know, it's 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 going to be weird. Bring assuming they're bringing all these people back. I don't really know the. You know who's aged is the the problem is Tim Burton has aged. <laughs> When's yeah. the last time Tim Burton made a movie yeah. anyone wanted to see? Now, is That's this a problem. Tim Burton directed movie or is he just it's, like, yep. No, is he's directing it. What it's was the movie. last movie he's made? That's good. No, just in general. Like, what was his last <laughs> directed movie? Um, was it the God. Willy Wonka? No, no, he's made no, something. He's done lots of stuff since that. He did. And I'm always movie. confused on what he's directed and what he's produced. Cause like they just he's throw his name on it. Is the did the the Big Eyes movie? He did the Dark Shadows movie. He did to the um, Two Alice in Wonderlands. He did the. He's done a lot of. Yeah, garbage. I was thinking the Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> probably, yeah. So speaking of another, I, I'd love that movie to be great. Beetlejuice too. I'm just right. I'm worried. But it did like you know there was a stop like they I guess they didn't film one scene and then the writer strike and the strikes happens, and then it's like okay we're and done with the movie. Up. Yeah, it was very quick. That was very... Now, my other one, which I recently just found out about, and I watched the first one again on Netflix not so long ago, is Beverly Hills Cop Axel F. <laughs> yeah. This looks, I haven't seen anything about it, but just Eddie knowing. Murphy, your favorite actor. <laughs> knowing, but I like that movie. Yeah. But knowing this like one. how he's going to be like, I don't know, but it, it can't be good. Like, what, what are they bringing him out of retirement? <laughs> I think this is uh, Netflix. I think this is one's a straight to Netflix, okay. if I recall. Like, I have a feeling uh, we're going to get a lot of, like, the, mm. it's not from this franchise, but I'm getting too old for this shit kind of jokes. <laughs> you know, it's going to be like. But are you? Because Eddie Murphy looks the same pretty much. So he does. maybe they just pretend. It's sure. fine. <laughs> and then my. Well, I've my, never. Yeah. You never watched I've never any watched, of that? I've never, I've never watched it. The first one, it's, it's pretty good. And I, my favorite scene is when he's, because I think it came out like a year or two after his big um, stand up special, um, Raw. Was that the one Raw. where he's wearing the the leather red leather? That's the leather, one with the homophobic leather. stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's walking down the street and somebody's <laughs> wearing the outfit that he wore in Raw, and he just la- like it's, it's it's a funny inside joke. He does his typical Eddie Murphy <laughs> laugh. <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. You should watch it. It's on Netflix right now. And and then my it? my three finals are uh, Ghostbusters three, <laughs> All right, Garfield and Mean Girls. <laughs> okay. Just those three, which of course those all slot together. All slot together. Tri- triple feature. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll try to clean up because I we don't need to spend too because there are a ton of movies. I'm, I'm sure we'll talk more about this kind of thing, of course, when our summer uh, comes up because that's going to be important for our wager or when these movies actually come out. The one I think the movie that I am actually most excited for of from all year is the movie called Civil War because it's from director Alex Garland to it. Always makes my favorite things. Uh, Annihilation, Ex Machina. Uh, oh, last, okay. A couple years ago, he did Men and uh, I've done men. TV show Devs. So we all have. Uh, so I don't really know. I, I kind of know the premise. I think it's about a civil war happening like in modern day in America. But I'll, anything oh. that he makes, I'm going to go watch because I just think he's he's a great filmmaker. Because I didn't like I just kind of scrolled past that because I had no idea. I'm like, oh, is it going to be another typical war movie? But if it's him. Yeah, it's not like a period piece. Right. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It's more timely than that. It's a modern day documentary. 
Uh, yeah, another one is like there's Mickey 17. Again, I don't know oh. anything about it, but it's the new Bong Joon Ho movie. Okay. Uh, you know, off of uh, after Parasite. And it has a very interesting uh, American cast. So hmm. I guess it's uh, like a Hollywood movie in English. I'm assuming because it's the whole, all the names in the cast right. are English speaking actors. No, he forced them to learn a new language. <laughs> But that's going to be interesting. Um, I, you know, there's a new Alien movie coming out this year. Oh, is there? There is. There's a new Alien movie. It is. And this is the uh, first one in, in a long time, actually, that's not directed by Ridley Scott. It's directed mm. by Fede Alvarez, who has done a couple of uh, horror suspense movies that I thought were pretty good. Now, what do you think S- of new directors taking over an old franchise? Well, like, it's it's nothing new for Alien, right? That's that happened yeah. with Aliens. So it's not like there's something. This is some precious, right? And especially with a, a franchise like this, where there's been so many sequels, prequels, retellings, and or whatever. Been bad ones too. It's not right. Th- you can't. You, you don't need to worry about ruining Aliens because we've seen the shittiest Alien movies you can right. sh- see. <laughs> so it's like go nuts. You, you, it can only get better, probably. Uh, but I'm always going to go see the new alien movie. Right. That's, that's interesting. It'll probably be a summer hit, right? Sure. Perhaps. And that then there, like there's a- also a uh, Nos- Nosferatu, which is from uh, Robert Eggers. And I, I don't know if it's Robert Pattinson or if I'm just assuming it is because of uh, the lighthouse, but have you seen the original Nosferatu? The silent I've watched era parts of it. I've never actually watched the whole movie. So that's a movie Creepy. that's like, it's cool. They've done, I think they've redone it a few times here and there. I know they did like, they had the silent one and then they like colorized it and added like rock music or so. it was weird. Like they, they did a like maybe eighties retelling of the same story, but that's a, mm. that's a movie that like I, cl- I hold close to my heart. That's a, that's a good mm. Halloween movie. I have a, pre- I bet I have a feeling that'll be, that will be at the top of your list next year. Right. Cause you, you love the lighthouse. You're a lighthouse. Guy. I love the lighthouse. And I, uh, I go look at lighthouses. They, they, they so- give light to the, so I feel like this this one's gonna be right up your alley. There's some other. I mean, like we're I, we can't go through everything, but I mean, no. Ridley Scott's doing a Gladiator sequel. I, I'm That's curious weird. about that. There's Deadpool three, which is gonna have Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in it. So come on, I gotta go see that. I feel like this is going to be the year of like there's these Dune. sequels from 25 years ago. Or I don't, oh, there's when so did... many of these. Well, that's that's every year <laughs> these days, isn't but it? But when? Well, because I I think I'd rather have a sequel come out. Than, than a, a new movie. I a, agree. No, no, no. <laughs> then a new movie of the same story or like a retelling of the same story. Uh, that's far too general a statement. I can't agree or disagree with that because I don't even know. Right. <laughs> it's, it's too it's too dependent on what the choices are. I don't know. Now, what do you think of this uh, Mean Girls movie that's coming there's out? There's so many. Can I just, I'm not, there's a, just quiet, a new Quiet Place movie. There's uh, there's the new Ghostbusters. There's Dune. There's uh, there's a, there's a, what is another there's the new freaking Joker movie. There's another Joaquin mm. Phoenix Joker movie with Lady well, Gaga. D- Dune <laughs> is a part two, correct? Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, all right. I, mean Girls. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll be that, that's out in like a week. So well, that just upsets me because it's the same fucking title. Make it something else. <laughs> like, how am I going to search this? I'm going to look for the old one, and it's not going to be that. Come on now. Oh, hey, uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Um, oh, but the this color, isn't the color purple. This isn't a redo of this movie, is it? I thought it was this like a different. Music, this is the musical. But it's like a different thing, I thought. It's the musical version of it. Okay. Yeah. Is that a, not a different thing? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess. Pretty well, different. Yeah. <laughs> now, do I'm you- just saying it's, there's a history of movies that are musicals having the same exact title, sure. I guess. Now, um, when you go to the movies, do you often bring, do you bring like a, a companion with you? Somebody to sit next to you and fill a seat, maybe like a, like a body yeah. pillow you do. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes, usually I do that for the carpool lane. Right. You have your body if pillow. I, if I don't have time to get, get it, grab a hooker. Right. I you just wanna, grab them. Yeah, How do you grab them? Where do, where do you grab <laughs> well, them? generally there's a specific part I grab them by. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> Listen, if you grab them by that, you will become president. But a simpler method, as you suggested, would be a pillow of some mm-hmm. kind. Right. Uh, say of the body variety, which brings right. us to today's case. Mm-hmm. It comes to us from the Internet. You can find a link in our description down below. Our defendant today is Dan. 
Dan is a college student and a fan of the visual novel video game, which I'm sure our geeks at home are familiar with, Doki Doki Literature Club. In fact, Dan's such a big fan, he's got a body pillow of one of those characters. If you don't know what a body pillow is, oh, you pretty much just put those two words together and you'll have a picture in your head. <laughs> Uh, that character is Yuri. He's got a Yuri body pillow from Doki Doki Literature Club. One night, he leaves Yuri out in the common room of his dorm where he likes to go and play video games. He snuggles up with his pillow. He has a great time. Unfortunately, he steps out after he leaves the pillow behind. And one of his roommates, who we're going to call Sal, comes in with Sal's dad. The two of them are moving some of their things in. Sal's dad sees this body pillow assumes it is his son's because apparently there has been some prior body pillow history between the two of them. Dad freaks out, leaves immediately with half of Sal's stuff still in the car and unpacked, now refusing to speak to him. And Sal is insisting that Dan now pay for the missing items he does not have access to because they were taken by his father. And it's Dan's fault for getting him into this mess in the first place. As dual judges here on Geeks on Trial, it's now our job to determine whether Dan's body pillow is chillo or if he committed a peccadillo. That is a word which means a uh, petty misdeed. Oh, I know. I'm a judge. <laughs> you do. Oh, right. That's a legal term. So, of right. course, you know that. You know that term, the peccadillo. The peccadillo. We need to establish I used, to, the, the I used to smoke a peccadillo a day. Pack a, anyway. Well, you could have, yeah, here's the smoke of peccadillo. Peccadillo a day. A peccad, no, because I guess that's, it's redundant. A peccad, right. the adillo is the day, a peccadillo. A peccadillo. Right. I guess it could be unclear. Listen, kids, don't know. Don't smoke or vape. It's bad for you. Oh, you're or, talking about smoking. Or do it all you want. I used to smoke a peccadillo. Anyway. So how many body I'm pillows do you have in your, what is your body pillow count? Let's <laughs> talk funny. about our, our <laughs> body, body pillow, pillow count. counts. <laughs> that's good see i i'm funny let's talk about the concept of a body pillow <laughs> let's yeah no okay i've mm, i've owned a body pillow but not an anime Elaborate. or a printed body pillow <laughs> i used to i've owned a there i guess they're just called body but the long ass pillows that it's just the size of your just bed the ass <laughs> I used to, I used to buy ass body. pillows all the time, and boy, mm -mm. I used to leave them in my common area often. So I, I used to like I used to like getting the they're the, basically I guess they're called body pillows, but now they have a weird term. I because guess. whatever. But I used to put it in the back of my bed because I didn't have a headboard, so it's good to like lay on when I'm watching movies and stuff. And I had it in college. So yes, I was a body pillow owner in college. <laughs> well, we're gonna take that out of context. <laughs> I don't know. If there's a maybe, maybe there's another name for it, if it's more generic, because or maybe it's just been corrupted for me by the internet. Because I think it as has. soon as I hear the term body pillow, I only think of it having a picture printed right. on it. No, mine a, was just a lady or a gentleman from an anime. <laughs> mine was just like like a felt or a fabricy thing. Oh, felt. I know that it was felt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm googling body pillow. Okay, the first results are blank. Oh, so you should, this, well, that's, that's your, you have to search history. It's a different. Oh, uh, yeah, I have safe search on. My search so, results are blank. That's, so, yeah, so I do. Yeah, I think you're correct. I think that there's a generic body pillow, but in this case, we are talking about right. the anime body pillow, really. Which I have never owned an anime body pillow or a body pillow with anybody. You on. haven't? No. <laughs> Strange. Yeah. Uh, I've owned I multiple. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, the closest thing that I have is a large stuffed version of Appa from Avatar The Last Airbender. You still uh, have that? Why would I not have it? What am I going to get know. rid of it? It's, I, it's my... Well, no, I'm like, I'm just... Because you've had it for such a long time. <laughs> like, I would just think it would, like, degrade over time. You slept with it for a long time. Okay, well, you, wait, don't... Not, you not like, say that. It like that. Not, it's in your bed. <laughs> it's you've, still don't... You've had sex with it a few I don't times. Like, no, I'm not, like, cuddling with it. It's not... I'm not, like, well, no, sleeping I'm thinking, with it. <laughs> like I'm, I'm more so thinking it was, like, your pillow. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's technically not a pillow. It is a big stuffed animal, but it's so big... How big I, is it? I, I can use it as a... As basically as a... I, I still... I use that if I'm reading at night. I, I lean against that thing right. like, with my head against it mm -hmm. in my bed. 
I do have a headboard, but it's not a. So I guess soft. it is. That is technically that is technically is an anime body pillow. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. I mean, I if guess. we're just if we're using just going through just dictionary terms here, you are in fact an owner of an anime body pillow. Congratulations, you weird freak. <laughs> I guess mm, that's going to alter my verdict on this yep. case. Tell you what. Now, no, the but traditional, the classic anime body right. pillow, the Kamiko James Franco's <laughs> Kamiko from Thirty Rock. Right. That's a different thing. Uh, I guess I, I'm trying to think. I guess I do know a one person who has a, a body pillow. <laughs> Interesting, because I was thinking, like, I don't know anybody who does, unless you're about to tell She's me something. A freak. That I do know. Yeah, I do. Nah, know. That's okay. our friend Alice. I don't give a <laughs> shit. She's not going to watch this. She's a weird anime nerd, and she has weird shit like that. And um, I love you, Alice. She, she's no, not, I, no I, I am your body pillow. Nope, never mind. Let's leave. I got to go. And, sh- um, you know, I think it's ironic, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, but you could also, like, own one and not own one. Like, you can and have one. Like, fuck it. Right. <laughs> Also, like, well, let's let's get that. Like, that's the thing with the body pillows, right? You get rug burns that, from that. It's that's crazy. the thing about it. Not, in, mo- in the majority of cases where there's an anime person on it, it's an attractive anime person. Right. And there's usually two. A lot of times there's two sides. I know because I've done the research. Well, and you have, have the clean times, side and the dirty side. So one side over. will be the character kind of, you know, fully dressed. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the other side will be them in like a sexy pose or something. Still fully dressed? <laughs> or maybe a little less dressed. Okay. Cause it, I've always like ever seen them online or whatever, when I'm doing my research and it's literally, they're always either in like a full school uniform or some, like they're always fully sure. dressed. It's never like for the, the creepiness that they have behind them. It's never like that. I've seen just like mm. somebody, a, a character that's just naked. naked. I'm sure those exist, but yeah, I feel like they're usually, usually not explicit. Right. Uh, at least, but I don't, I don't know. Are we, should we judge? Should we cast judgment on those who own the body pillow? <laughs> well, I'm never like, you know, I never want to kink shame anybody. And that's kind of like a, a kink shaming thing. <laughs> well, there's, are we, that's another, are we assuming is it, does it have to be a kink? Can you just own one of these and it not be a weird sex thing? I've been on the internet for way too long where everything is a weird sex thing. Mm hmm. So I guess we could assume in this case, like if he, if, 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 if Dan has this body pillow and it's in the common area and Dan is watching movies or playing video games, we can just assume he's not like fucking it. Cause like you wouldn't have your, your fucking pillow in the common area unless you and your roommate have well, different, you know, maybe you like to share. Right. You're, in a, mean, you're at, in a poly pillow relationship at best. The body pillow's got to indicate to me. I mean, and I guess this is me speaking about speaking from the, a place of maybe the worst kind of uncharitable judgment of a body pillow. Okay, is that it indicates some level of loneliness, it, right? Like something right, to the, cuddle, I, something to the hug. The idea is, oh, you can't or or are not willing to engage with an actual human. So you have to have a, an inanimate object as your, as your affectionate lover right. <laughs> or whatever, or, or just cuddler or pal there, you know, there is a thing of for some people, it just helps them sleep to have something next to them or just, or like the same thing as like a weighted blanket or something. Now me that, personally, like, I don't know how you sleep, but then you I don't s- have to put an anime person on it. So that's right. A thing. So for me, like I'll always like, I, me and my partner sleep in the same bed, but we are separate blanket havers because he you don't is, have I love Lucy style. <laughs> no, no, we have bunk beds. We have <laughs> Bert and Ernie. <laughs> right. So he uses a weighted blanket, which I can't stand having a weighted oh, blanket. So he? we use separate blankets and we've done that for a while because I usually am uh, warm. He's usually cold, whatever. So I'll, we both have like queen size blankets. So I always like cuddle up with a blanket because I, I never cuddle with him as I sleep. That's weird. I think. So he's not your body pillow. He's not my body pillow. He's, he's, he's a bony man. I don't, you know, I like a pillow, but I will use a, um, but I usually like, I'll stuff some things inside of it. Right. (laughs) I I will hug a pillow. 
but it's usually like sure. a small square pillow that I'll like just have on me because I'm a side sleeper. Wait, right, as you, am I. You're a side sleeper? Okay. I sleep. I'm a side for sure. I mean, on I, my left side. I move constantly as I'm sleeping, but I start mm. out on a side. It's usually. To, I don't, I'm it's usually. Right or left. I feel like I, I will have a lot of times I'll put my hands like under the pillow or something while I'm or I'll put them like, I don't know. Sometimes I got to do something with my hands when I sleep. Yeah, that's why I have the pillow <laughs> that I hug. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get that impulse, but it doesn't have uh, a person on it. <laughs> <laughs> right now let's talk about those freaks who just sleep on their backs with nothing those are weird people yeah i don't know it's like they're just they're just in a you. coffin that's just that's weird are to me. there uh are there face sleepers are there stomach sleep sleepers i that's used to, the, when the i was younger <laughs> i used to sleep on my stomach with my head to the side that feels like i would break my neck or something that doesn't feel like that should work out well i, I stopped know. doing that the bigger my stomach got it became a problem <laughs> mm. Well, that should be nice. It's like it's like a built-in. That's there's your body pillow. That's right there. I'm my own body pillow. That's the thing. But yeah, I don't think like you know. It, and if anybody ever walked in and saw us sleeping, it's like oh, they are not in a relationship. We are back to back, separate blankets, <laughs> just not looking at each other. But I feel like that's like as it should be. I feel like when you see couples on TV like spooning and while they're sleeping and stuff, I feel that's just not a real thing. That's a, that's a TV thing. Yeah, it's a real thing if you actually care about each other. <laughs> huh. I yeah. will get bunk beds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your couple's therapist will work it out <laughs> for you. And that's me, by the way. Oh, boy. <laughs> and my rates are not cheap. <laughs> and I do not take insurance. So, and yeah, so I don't... pillows are extra. Would you... I mean, you have people and you've probably walked in on somebody's body pillow. Not walked in on them, <laughs> but like, you know, saw their body pillow. Does it weird you out? Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> I'm no. not gonna lie. I'm not gonna try to. I, I could come on here and say Can I not? will not judge. I shall not cast stones. If if the people have the pillow, then let them enjoy okay, themselves. Watch the, the accent's gonna little. You see, if, <laughs> if Theo, if you have a body pillow, <laughs> it's perfectly normal to do. It I'm not, not going to public. say that. I'm going to say you're a freak and I want to hang out with you. Now, that's the truth. Now, that's the truth. You went on a trip to the home of the body pillows. You went to <laughs> J- the Japan. Factory. The oh, factory. Andrew, I went to Japan. Yeah. Were I there, didn't see any body pillows while I was that there. That was going to be my question. Is it like a, it's an us thing, isn't it? Like they're probably made here <sighs> with the characters on it. That's not. I, like, no, I'm sure they do it over there. But they have I, morals. They're hidden in a back like, room. There's not like a body. I mean, maybe there is a body pill store. No, I'm sure they have them places. I just, I just didn't go to any of those places. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, that's, I guess that's, like I said, that's another part of it. There's a stigma that it is the unwanted, smelly anime nerd. Right. Is the one. Now, and you drop your mm-hmm. kid off at college, right? And you walk in. I do. And you go into the common area and you see an anime body pillow. Do you freak out? <laughs> Are you so like according according to the story? Sal has what's the I gotta find the exact wording on this one about his he has had problems with body pillows That's in the past. And like I I would so rather sounds, go ahead. It sounds like there's been some kind of incident where weren't it or not, the maybe this kid has like maybe there's been periods where he hasn't gone at left his room or just hasn't formed relationships with other people. And the parents were worried about him because he's only spends all this time with his body pillow and talks to it. Like it's a real person. I have to imagine it's gotta be something like that for the reaction to be so extreme. Right. It could be that this is just a shitty, uh, very conservative dad. Right. Right. And he's, and he just saw the body pillow one day and was like, not in my house. Now, my thing is, so stereotypical college and, 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 and people in dorms, I would rather have my child be addicted to a body pillow rather than like <laughs> doing drugs, drugs. drinking, do you know, like this typical, you know, 1980s college things. I, I, I think that would be better because more it's not wholesome, but it's like, what is this going to do to them? OK, fine. They might not be talking to people, but like most people in college are like me, I feel like are not like going out and like partying every night. You know, if if they're talking to people online and okay, they cuddle with a pillow, fine. 
Yeah, I guess I would rather my son or daughter be a heroin addict than watch anime. Oh, well, no, no, I didn't say watch anime. I said have a body pillow. People who watch anime. <laughs> well, yeah, I kind of linked the two together. I guess, that, yeah, I would probably, if I came home and I and <laughs> there's like, you know, um, Roroni Kenshin on the TV and a pile of cocaine on the table. Right. I'm like, son, turn that shit off now. <laughs> you have a problem. Right. Would that would be my reaction probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, again, we don't know. This case is not about... Well, it's it's indirectly about Sal, but right. Sal's not being judged and we do not have a way of knowing how serious or not serious that problem was. It and listen, be- and, and Dan and Sal, if you're watching this episode, and I know you are, I want to know more about Sal's issue and his dad's problem with this. Like, I feel like this would be like such a good deep dive of an episode to be like, what is his <laughs> issue with body pillows? Like, did his dad walk in on something he doesn't want to see? That could be. And at that point, like he's a he's a teenage boy. I'm a you know freshman in college. Let's say, like he's gonna walk in on something weird anyway. He's a teenage boy in his bedroom alone. Yeah, I mean, is the is the anime body pillow in your teenage boy's room any worse than a poster of uh right of a, of Baywatch, a Farrah Fawcett, <laughs> let's say, or like yes, because it's anime. Yes, it's worse. Is the is answer. it <laughs> like you know if you look through his porn history, which don't, uh, is it like is it weird that it's like you know anime or cartoon versus real porn? You know, like I mean, is this a thing? You really want to get into it? The, I, I probably the root of this is it is seen in our society that like being into animation and cartoons, especially Japanese animation, right. which. Let's face it, a lot of it is perverted and weird and bad. Right. Uh, there is a stigma attached to that that you're a loser and you will never actually form an interaction with a with a human right. person. And I wouldn't say that that's a baseless no. <laughs> assumption. But uh, maybe I I don't know. I guess I, I, I should watch myself that I don't become too much of a boomer stereotype because – I don't know. I'm See, sure I'm sure there are people who can have a body pillow and have weird relationships with other weird anime people. Now, for me, I because like a lot of the anime culture that I've seen and and not been part of, but been dragged into, I guess. Um I've been to anime clubs, I've been to it's a very like it is a community. So like a lot of these people um are with each other a lot of times or they'll hang out in forums, do gaming, do whatever. So it's like a, this is it, it is a community. So it's like I'm okay with like a child or anybody being part of a community. Doesn't matter what it's about. And me personally as a geek, I would rather them be a part of an anime culture than like, you know, sports. <laughs> normal stuff my biggest fear is having a, a child who is like hey dad i'm gonna try out for the football team I'm like, no you're not you will watch this, <laughs> yeah, this silent movie at home and you will be happy about it there's definitely a there's a a line between uh you know watching being an anime fan there's something i think the, the, the really the thing about the pillow is that even if it's not strictly sexual you're looking at like a girl, a cartoon girl on the kid's bed. And usually you can't, it's hard to draw that line. Right. Than, they probably, you know, it's, it's usually kind of like creepily. Well, but we're, the, <laughs> but at this, we're talking about a they're college slash teenager. So it's not like, right to, it, yeah. could, it might still, it might still be creepy crossing but. the line, but not see, it doesn't bother. I don't know. It wouldn't bother me as much as like a lot of things that I have seen in dorms or it, with people like, would you rather this or like walk into your kids? Like, you know, dildo collection or like, like, you know what it's like? <laughs> well, Yuri from Doki Doki literature club, according to the wiki is 18 years old. So that's oh, all fine. Free game. That's fine. She's, she's of age. And uh, for anyone who doesn't know, if you, maybe it helps to get a picture of this. She looks like a, a Japanese schoolgirl with long purple hair. That's so like every what female like. anime character. Yes, pretty generic. Now, I don't know if you know anything about Doki Doki Literature Club. I thankfully uh, don't. It's not, I don't think it's super relevant to this case. I have not actually personally played this game, but I know it's reputation. Oh, it's a game. It's, yeah, it's a video game. It's a, okay. if you were listening to my case, you would have heard me say that. It's a, I check out, I'm sorry. It's a visual novel and it's, I, I, I technically this is a spoiler, I, but 
it's so widespread at this point that I feel like everybody knows it, but it's famous for kind of uh, misleading you in that it seems like a typical romance novel and it becomes a horror game as, as you play. Okay. It. Now, is it, is it like, cause I, it, I don't know if it would weird me out more or less if it was like a sexual game or like a dating sim or anything like that, but is it that kind of thing? I, like I said, I haven't played it from my understanding. It sort of starts out like that, but it's, I think in some ways, almost a parody of those kinds of games or okay. a version of those kinds of games. Cause it, it'll, it turns people into monsters or something. I don't know. Right. Um, so now I do also yeah. give credit to the dad for like knowing what it is. Cause there's a lot of things that like, I'm, I okay. know <laughs> that it's like, my parents are like, I have no idea what that is. Go play your Nintendo. It's like, you know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't. Does he need to know what it is, though? Or is it just a gut reaction of cartoon woman on pillow? My son's fucking that. <laughs> you know? True. Hey, hey, <laughs> just be happy your son's fucking something. <laughs> Come on now. Is that? It's sure. I, that's one way to can't, look at it. You can probably get a disease. Like, we don't know if they're sharing this pillow, but you know, you can't get it pregnant. <laughs> Did we, I don't know if we settled. I don't know if I, what my real, I think that there is a, as if you think that your kid, if your kid is happy and is successful in whatever way they're defining success by, right. they're going to college, what have, you know, they're, they're, they're around people, which isn't, you know, maybe that's not, we could argue the merits of being around people, but I don't know. Like I said, it sounds like in this case, there maybe was some more serious underlying issues going on with the body pillow. I don't know. Well, right. This is maybe in the past where it was like, fine, maybe the kid in high school, high school is an awkward time. People don't want to go outside. You're, you're, you're forced to interact with people that maybe aren't inside of your, your cliques or whatever. So fine. Maybe this person had a body pillow <laughs> that they would chill with and whatever. But in college now, this, they are in a shared room. <laughs> Clearly there is a public right. area that they like, chill in so you're i'm assuming that it's not like oh he's going back down the rabbit hole of never coming out of his room maybe this is the equivalent of leaving a, a drink on the table and he used to be an alcoholic <laughs> maybe he's gonna his dad's worried he's gonna be tempted into sin once more but see like for me i don't know if this says a lot about me i would rather like my child have like not a relationship with a body pillow but like be doing stuff on their own and be more introverted than like out like causing mayhem and like Sure. I do you want them to cause may what are they, a super villain? <laughs> causing mayhem? <laughs> well, no, like, you know, like stereotypical device. like high school party kind of things. Like I would rather them be home and chilling sure. and like Panty underage raids. underage drinking, drugs, like that kind of stuff. Uh yeah. As again, as long like I do think there's a point where, you know, you watch like my weird addiction or whatever. <laughs> that kind of right. Like, oh, he's eating the pillow. Like, what does he do? You know. Have you ever seen there was a clip of it where this woman was eating mattresses and it's like, oh yeah, I've cut down to three mattresses a year. I'm like, I'm sorry you ate what? Listen, if you have if you have a perfect if you're happy and healthy and you have everything you need in your life right. and you just happen to have sex with a pillow at night once right. in a while. I more power to you if that's only at if night that works though. for you. If you're doing that during the day, you go. <laughs> no, come on, a little afternoon delight. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the question of this case really is: Are defending how many body Dan, no, Okay. <laughs> should he have been mindful? He clearly was aware of these issues. I get, yeah, right? yeah. He, he mentions it, and this is his. Presume, it sounds like this is his friend, either from a previous year or they went to high school together. I don't know what uh, year of college they're in. Mm. And uh, he, this is clearly, this is move in time. He must have right. been, he must have known that his his roommate was going to be in and out. Maybe there, and maybe family and other yeah, he was. people could be coming in. Sorry. Is it incumbent then upon him to be, to with this knowledge to keep this business out of the common room mm. or not? Or could this be like a? I'm going to confront your uh, your demons in front of your father. To get He's this out. forcing him to reconcile. <laughs> now the other get thing too, like with my, you know, w would the dad rather like? I want to see what his views are on like if this was a male body pillow. Would this be like a whole thing? Because it seems very like conservative he father. Know. He uh, probably true. can't tell the difference with the anime. No, nope. <laughs> they all, they all kind of look androgynous. <laughs> I don't know. Like uh, sure, Dan, like. 
maybe in Dan's head, he's not using this for, you know, creepy things. This is literally, it's a, it's, it is a piece of furniture, like, oh, not a piece of furniture. It's a pillow. It's like a blank. Like, would it be weird if he had like, you know, a blanket with Pamela Anderson on it or whatever, like in the, the common area? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I think it'd be weird if anyone had a blanket with Pamela Anderson on it. <laughs> that is the only woman that I could think of in time that would, you know, Playboy Bunny, Mich- I think. Michelle Obama. They- <laughs> you know, huh. they say name a woman. A lot of people say Michelle Obama. So that's I why I went for a woman. Um, no, you know, I don't like- think any. I would personally, I am, uh, what's the word? Repressed. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to see any i don't it, yes it would be, to me it's weird if you're in a public place with a pillow of a uh, like a size the same size as a person of an attractive looking but person. it's not a public area <laughs> it's the common well, it kind area of, is. of their it's, room it's so like it'd if be you're like, roommates and you're out in the living room with the with the pillow. right but it's not like you know having like my dildo on the table it's not you well, know get, we're, we're we're there's two different issues i whether or not that's okay I don't, i'm just telling you i would think it's weird <laughs> i i would be because like, your weird. brain would automatically go to uh he's fucked this pillow even if you're not you don't gotta be fucking it <laughs> <laughs> quote of the evening you don't but gotta be fucking it <laughs> clearly there's something like you could have no design on this pillow or you could have just a color or you could have, it could be characters. Like it could just be a design of like a bunch of Pokemon or something, but you chose a full length, same size right. as you anime girl. Like there's something and, went into this decision. And there's things behind that. Like people like this is an internet. This is a meme. This is right. like a thing that people you're aware now, of the reputation that this has. would it be different. So you walk in and the dad and, and he also has anime posters all over the walls of the same kind of thing. So like this is a design choice, let's say. Hmm. Posters. I know. I think is much more acceptable. That's much less weird to me. So you you're behind it because there's the potential sex toy if, or relationship thing yeah, behind it. I can't. I just don't think you can escape the the thin line between a body pillow and a sex doll. Okay. <laughs> Whether or not no, I get it's that. used for that, but it's, it's too, it's very close, but very close to, they're somewhere in the same genre. This. Okay. So to bring it back to the main <laughs> meat of the story, I feel like a body pillow is like a starter sex doll. <laughs> oh, definitely. Like your, is. It's the, it's the, it's the gateway drug. Cause sex, right? have you ever seen, they're very expensive. So oh, I'm yeah. sure the pillows That's are why cheaper. they sell the ones that are just the vagina. Right. Like the 20 pounds of. <laughs> it's like a torso. <laughs> they just have sex with a disembodied right. amputee. Right. Which that's up. what we want. That's all we want in life. It's just. That. <laughs> that's all you need. Yeah. So like, you know, I would, you know, it's, it's weird because it's like, you know, this is their apartment, the, their dorm. This is where the two of them live. Yeah. And they're both adults. So for the dad to freak out after walking into Dan's private area, this mm. is where, I mean, it's, it's a common area, but I'm assuming it's like, there's a bedroom. It's like an apartment. There's a two bedroom apartment with a common area. I'm, I'm not thinking this is like the, the floors common area. Right. I'm imagining this. Actually, I don't know, but I, I'm I just have... in my brain. I'm assuming it's like, you know, a two bedroom apartment and you're in the living room. It's it's akin to that anyway, whether it's right. in a just for a dorm or a quad or if it's like the whole dorm's floor. Because if it was the whole dorm's floor, that's a whole different thing because you have like what, like 40 people per floor. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he would leave a personal object if it was a public space like that. Right. So yeah. that's why I'm assuming it's their common area between the two or whatever bedrooms. So Sal's father is walking into a place where these two guys are living <laughs> And Boy's this is like, life, baby. <laughs> and the, but this is his area. This is his house. This is where he lives. So it's like for him to get upset, it'd be like if you, you know, I walked into your apartment and I see a DVD that's offensive. I'm not going to freak out and take all my son's belongings with me. Well, I'm let's I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I think we can both agree. No, I thought you didn't like limbs. I thought you liked the, the limbs cut off and the, the head cut off on your sex dolls. That's why I'm going out on it. Okay. <laughs> not keeping it in i think we can both agree I, I don't think either of us is supporting this dad 
whether or not I think it's weird to have a body pillow, right. it's clearly an overreaction to to leave in a huff and not let your right. son have his things. I, oh no, it I, is it is definitely fucking weird to have a body pillow. <laughs> But I don't want anyone area. to I misconstrue that. me that I'm like, oh, yeah, the dad should have because but the dad's not the one on trial. No, the geeks are. Was it up to Dan? Should he have thought ahead that this is a common area and people might think about it? Right. Or maybe was it Sal's responsibility to request that Dan not leave this pillow out? Right. Maybe is the question. And I don't know if you want to get into a verdict on that. I do. And I think I'm going to I want to take the lead on this one because, you know, I don't think, you know, this is Dan's living space, too. When you're when you're in a dorm, it's the first time that a lot of people are living and cohabitating in either a single room, an apartment or whatever. So it's like, you know, this is the first time you're learning about stuff, excuse me, and learning about people. So it's like, you know, you have things. Uh, but, you know, what I mean? well, doing in real life, because, like, you know, unless you have like a shared bedroom with like a brother or sister or whatever, this is your first time alone. So you have those freedoms and stuff. And I, I, I really don't think Dan is in the wrong at all, because it's not like the dad walked in and caught him in the act of doing anything with said doll, because that would be weird. You know, pillow, because, you know, you go do that in your bedroom. You go, that's private area stuff. But like, you know, they were just was it just on the couch or were they sitting together, him and the pillow? No, it was, he was, Dan was gone. The dad was, dad might not have been mad if he saw it with Dan. He was mad because he assumed it belonged to his son. So I really think, yeah, Dan, so in this case, Dan had done nothing wrong. Dan is not guilty of leaving his personal item out in the shared public room. Um, I do think the dad is guilty. I know that's not the thing, but the dad is guilty. <laughs> Because what like Sal, you don't have I don't think Sal, I think Sal was just a friend, like I guess friendly fire kind of thing because the dad overreacted and like the father like could have been like, hey, is that yours? And like, even if the kid was lying, is it? No, 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 no. It's 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 Dan's, you know, like it's it was a really big overreaction that the father took all of his stuff away. Now, I do think Sal is. You know, it, it's shitty that he's like. Well, you have to pay for the, the truckload of stuff that my dad. No, Why? <laughs> I have to pay. Just tell your just tell your dad to grow up, <laughs> drop off your shit and, and, and leave it here. So I think that's like Dan is not guilty of anything. Guilty of being a weird freak who loves anime pillows. <laughs> yeah. But we all have a little weird thing that we all love. Right, so like, he is you know, guilty of some one he's thing, guilty of one something. Thing. You know, <laughs> come on now. You don't just have anime pillows and not, you know. But yeah, so so I don't think Dan is guilty of not cleaning up after himself. He's an adult. If he wants to leave his pillow out in public, if he wants to take that pillow to the diner and have a, have a nice cup of coffee, I'm a judge, but he's not guilty. You are a judge. I am a judge. So yeah, so Dan is not guilty of having a body pillow in the common area of his private area. <laughs> Don't talk about his private area, please. <laughs> well, that's what covers up the private area. Anyway. This is a complicated one for me. I, I, I do agree with you on the subject of Dan paying Sal for those items. This is ridiculous. How does he even, how are you even going to remember what was in there and come up with a price for those items? It's not like he threw them away. They still still own your thing. They're back at your house. (laughs) Yeah. Like his dad didn't just take them and dump them at the tire fire. Like, come on now. It's, that's a ridiculous. Like, yeah. Like that's clearly, this is, there's clearly a personal problem between you and your father work that out. It's none of my business right. so that that's ridiculous. And it, so I don't support Sal and I don't support the Sal's dad. Do I support Dan? Now, of course you're a lot of this to me depends on the type of living situation and what kinds of people these are. Right. If you're all anime people and you're all kind of, down with this uh, nerdy shit and you, you you got the Funko Pops up in the living room or whatever right. else. Maybe there's a vibe that you maintain and it's like, yeah, of course, we've got a poster on the wall. We've you got a pillow on the couch. That's how we do here. Right. May, or But maybe it, it could be a different situation where maybe it's one person is a little more of a normie and they're like, I don't, I'm trying to bring girls over here. Don't leave that shit. Doesn't sound like that's the case. <laughs> but we already <laughs> have a girl on the couch, Jonathan. What do we need another girl for? You're right. So rationally, it's hard for me to argue with your judgment 
it's a shared space. He wasn't warned that about this happening. It's he lives here. He could leave a pillow there. Sure. That said, in my heart of hearts, I think he's a freak. And I think that he should be more ashamed of himself and his sexuality and his, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? His preferences, Mm -hmm. his, his predilections. That's what I want to say. That's right. I broke out the big words for this Mm -hmm. one. For the big pillows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he should be ashamed as as we all should. Everyone should be ashamed of whatever you're into. I don't care. If what you like, if it's considered socially acceptable or not. Also, your bodies, your nudity, your, yes. anything like that. Yes, These be ashamed. things should be hidden. Stay These covered. should be covered up. And you shouldn't talk about them or even hint at them. You know how many robes the two space. of us are wearing? This is what we wear all the time. <laughs> We're never nudes. <laughs> so I got to, you know, I can't. You're right. But at the same time, uh, nah, I got to call this guy guilty. Get that shit out of the wow. living room, you little freak. <laughs> Send so this is break. a mis, mistru- No, what do we call that when we don't agree? When we're when there's a difference of opinion, <laughs> we call break. it we, we call it a mistrial, and that means both parties get punished. <laughs> so you have to provide a sentence for Dan, and I'll be punishing Sal, I think. And then you know what? We can both punish the dad together because fuck that guy. That's that's my kink. That's what I have. Yeah, I get dad that. punishing. So you know, I feel like you know, I'm I'm doing Sal. Yeah, I'm Sal. Sal should have oh, Dan, to. Dan, Dan, no, Dan, you're punishing. Oh no, sorry, Sal, you're punishing yeah. Sal. That's yeah, I'm like, wait a minute, why am I punishing the not guilty guy? That, that's your thing. So, I like, forgot. you know, what, what would Sal? I don't even know. Maybe he has to go to therapy because clearly there's something <laughs> going on that. Uh, <laughs> Court mandated therapy. Okay, I think good. he should have to have a one-on-one conversation with his father, and it's going to be awkward as hell. But you have to have that conversation and be like, listen, Dad, this isn't my pillow. This is Dan's pillow. Oh, I use my be- pillow. Well, that's it. I want a, I want a pillow, a body pillow of Mike Mendel, the body pillow. <laughs> Is that his name? I don't know his name, but I, the my pillow guy, right? Yeah. With the mustache and the yeah, yeah. So he has okay, fine. He has to get a body pillow of the my pillow guy. That's his punishment. <laughs> the dad, but I think both of them, maybe both of them, or he has to get a body pillow of his father. That's weird. <laughs> can you get custom body? Pill- I'm sure you can get custom body pillows. I'm sure. Wait the till dad we- has to have one of the son and the son has, to, has have to have one, one of the, the dad. dad. Yep. So um, click on our merch store because we're going to have our own Geeks on Trial body pillows. That's right. I'm on the front. He's on the back. Uh, my punishment <laughs> for Dan is uh, he has to spend a few months watching uh, sports. <laughs> watching. Oh boy. Uh, watching um trying to come up with the most stereotypical like uh he's got he's got to watch porkies <laughs> and revenge of the nerds no revenge of the nerds no, is a little too they're too no. yeah he has to go he has to go spend time at the beach he has to go outside there you go. he's got to touch grass as the kids say what kids say that i don't i don't know <laughs> <laughs> and uh and he and he but he also no more body pillows for him you've got to you've got to learn to be a man and drink beer <laughs> you have to do, from now you got to smoke a pack a day a pack of do a, and drink pack a of six beer. pack a day huh one you have to drink a pack of cigarettes a day and smoke a pack of beer every day for 2 weeks and come out the other side and see how you feel so you're making him turn from one stereotype to another <laughs> Yes, but the other stereotype is a little more manly, so I think it's oh, okay. Oh, the way you even said manly was not, he's that manly. You didn't believe that I'm a masculine fella? <laughs> <laughs> I don't come off as a manly man? <laughs> the geek's on trial. That's two manly men judging mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Remember two and a half men? <laughs> no. Now, does, I'm I assuming... Think- God. No, no, you. I'm assuming they have, because uh, all the body pillows I've ever seen are female based or female. Oh, there's male printed. ones. They're, not, they're for are sure there? male ones. Now, oh, where yes. would I find them? Google mm-hmm. freaky male sex shit. I'm a weirdo dot com. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure that the website. Ask Jeeves and he'll ask tell Jeeves. you all I'll about it. I'll go to my preferred search engine. Yahoo ask Jeeves. Ligans will fill you right in. <laughs> huh. That seems offensive. I, I think that this will be a controversial case. I think that if anyone who uh, liked anime watched this show, they might be offended. 
Or they might agree with us because I think maybe there's anime likers out there who don't want to be associated with these freaks. We're going to need to hear from the people what their verdicts are on this one in contrast to ours. Who do you side with? You can email those thoughts to us at geeksontrial at gmail.com. Or if you're watching on YouTube, you could leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, we're also available in audio format if you're a podcast listener. And if you have your own geeky case, maybe it's about anime or movies or video games or board games, email us geeksontrial at gmail.com or use our form there's a link in the description. And if you are in a relationship with a body pillow, I want to see the photograph of you two, a selfie of you and your body pillow together. You can send those to that same email address as well, because I don't think you can leave images in comments. I don't no, know. You'd have to link to it. Link to You can do that as well. So yeah, send us your, uh, your selfies of you and your significant pillow other. Um, other than that, you can head on over to our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash geeks on trial. And you get early access to this show, but you also gain access to a brand new only Patreon, only their show, five bucks a month. And it's me and Jonathan answering questions. Maybe we'll talk about body pillows more in depth on that. We probably won't. But yeah, it's, it's a it's a I show. I think we that's, covered that one pretty well in this episode. We did, but we have to go into the dark side of body pillows. The uh, but yeah, you can head over to Geeks on Trial, uh, patreon.com slash trafficking Geeks on Trial, and you get a brand new show that is only behind the paywall over there for five dollars a month. You get two shows, two shows in early and access. You support us, and you, you support, support us, us. It's just nice. And yeah, it's nice. You can you can give us your money so we can go buy our own body pillows. And hell, maybe eventually we'll have our own uh, merch store. Where we sell our body pillows. Don't you want that? Exactly. We can't do it without your help, folks. Now, when you're not fuddling around with your body pillow, where can people find you on the Internet? You can follow me on Blue Sky at Jonathan Nessus. You can go to my website, JonathanNessus.com. And I talked about it last week, but I'll plug it again because now they're officially up and running. My two videos on my YouTube channel which are my favorite movies and TV shows from 2023. So if we talked about what we're looking forward to, but if you want to look back, I talked about a bunch of movies and shows that I loved from last year. And maybe there's some that you missed and you can hear my opinions on them. How about you? You can find me over at Ivanhan.com, which is where I'll post all of my future past and present projects that are coming out. And you can see all my reviews over at youtube.com slash the snack guy. And that's where I review snacks and beverages and things of that nature. How about follow us both on Letterboxd? Oh, yeah. Letterboxd is a fun one. You can see what movies we're watching. You know, the movies we talked about at the beginning of the show, we are probably going to see some of those and you can see what we reviewed and how we liked them and our past movies as well. If I ask you what your letterbox name is, will you remember it off the top of your head? Nope. <laughs> because apparently I have two accounts that I've just forgotten about. You had one. You, I, I followed two accounts that are yours and one you clearly just forgot about and you made a new one. <laughs> because letterbox was one of those things where it's like, I, I think I asked you and another person like, Oh, get an account. And you guys are like, no, and I'm like, okay, uh -huh. I, I did one for a while and then I just deleted the app or whatever, or got a new phone or who this, and then, you know, downloaded it again and just forgot I had an account. Yeah. Well, you can follow me on there at Quince. And then you'll, if you look at my followers, you'll see two, both of his accounts. You can follow them too. <laughs> and I'll post a lower third. Probably won't, but you know, it'll be down oh, there as well. You probably won't. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen and body pillows, it's been a real treat talking to you. Thanks for checking out the show. Oh man. <laughs> I love doing oh. it and I love that oh. you're here with us. Yes. We love you. We love you so much. I'm John. We Nessus. love you. I'm Ivan Hahn and this has been Geeks on Trial. Catch you next time, freaks. Geeks on Trial.